hi guys and welcome back to my channel okay so recently yeah i have been experimenting with different food coloring liquid powder gel and in the past one month i've tried about eight different food colorings trying to find which one is best for my red velvet cakes because I'm in a new environment and I'm trying to find what is best for me. So I decided to share this journey with you guys. So at the end of this video, I'm going to be telling you the two food colorings I actually like. And I'm going to be leaving a link for you guys to buy it in the description below. Okay, so this was me comparing liquid food coloring. They're both liquid. One is from Goodall's and the other one is from Tesco and they were no good whatsoever. And then this one was me comparing this powder food coloring from Color Bomb to this liquid food coloring from tesco the liquid food coloring from tesco was so brown and it was no good whatsoever okay so this third one was me comparing um the powder food coloring from color bomb to the liquid food coloring from um um lidl and it wasn't good rub share <laughs> It wasn't good at all so at the end of this video i'm going to be telling you guys what i found about this colorings and the ones that have an aftertaste and the ones you should use and some i noticed that some people don't really like a bright red velvet cakes cake because they feel like it looks artificial so if you're one of those people then don't worry then this video is for someone that's looking for you know really bright cakes and disclaimer this cakes and baking are the same recipe the same volume everything is the same except the red food coloring i used today because i wanted to see the difference for this one i know in the past on this channel yeah i said do not use um, powder food coloring for your red velvet cakes because it will just make them turn brown during baking so guys i'm sorry i take you back i made a mistake <laughs> i'm sorry i take you back and i'm so sorry for you guys that listen to me then please now i have discovered that it depends on the powder food coloring you use for example this one i'm using right now is from color bomb and it is amazing guys like the color it was when it went into the oven was the same color it was when it came out and it was so bright it was almost at, at a point i used just three grams yeah for um about two cups of flour i used just three grams and i kind of realized it was too much and next time i think i'll just use a gram because i think a gram would have been okay my cake would have been red and not as red and maybe it wouldn't have had an aftertaste because at the end of the day it had an aftertaste because i think i used a little bit too much it just was just way too red it looked so artificial and some people were complaining about it on my tiktok anyway so this was the second red for coloring and this was liquid and for this one i used about 15 grams yet it didn't really show up and maybe because i used tesco and i tried some other ones at this point yeah i had tried about three different red for coloring i tried one from lidl i tried one from tesco and i tried one from like called goodles this particular one is tesco guys and i don't have any nice thing to say actually yeah the good house was a little okay but the tesco hmm, nah anyways so but at the end of this experiment what can, what i can tell you for sure is that powder food red, powder food coloring for velvet cakes is a really great idea depending on which brand you are deciding to buy hey guys so let's um examine the pros of using the powder for coloring not just this one i've used about three different ones so um the first thing is that it's easy to incorporate yeah it's very easy to mix together and the second thing is that it is quite cheap and very pigmented so i really loved it but the cons and and not just for this particular one from photobomb at this point i've tried three different ones and this one from photobomb and one from um there are two other ones i bought from um the asian store yeah that's another place to get them so the cons i see with the powder for coloring was that it's easy to over measure it's easy to add a lot when you don't really need that much and it makes a lot of mess and it's difficult to measure for example trying to measure two grams on your weighing scale can be quite difficult because it's so light sometimes that it doesn't show up so you have to maybe pour it into something to measure it i don't know if that makes sense to you guys so it's quite it can get quite messy it's when you're trying to open the container and also like the difficulty to measure makes it quite because that way yeah if you can measure it successfully then your cake will be the same color every time 
But if you can measure something successfully, yeah, then sometimes your cake is a lot redder. And I like consistency, especially since if you are a cake decorator and you provide for people's needs when it comes to cake, you need to be consistent. Okay, so the pros of using the liquid food coloring is that it is very cheap, guys. It is really, really cheap, maybe because it's diluted. So that makes a little sense because they dilute it with some liquid. And also, aside from being cheap, it is very accessible. You can find liquid food coloring almost anywhere in like grocery stores. You don't have to go to specialty cake stores or anything. They're everywhere and they are quite cheap to get so i think those are one of the pros i don't really like i don't there is no um liquid food coloring i used in these experiments that i loved and i tried four different ones i used one from lidl one from tesco one from goodalls and one other one from the asian store i didn't like any of them anyway so the cons of using the um liquid food coloring is that i noticed it's easy for you to get an aftertaste maybe because of the liquid it melts the colors in I don't know, but it's easy for you to get an aftertaste and it is not as pigmented. Most of them were brown and they were just annoying. And at the point it was just, oh God, what am I doing? I'm just wasting ingredients. Anyways, look at this one. This particular one was from Tesco and I didn't like it at all. Initially it looked okay, but beside this very really red one, it looked ridiculous. It looks like it's just a chocolate cake, but that's not a problem for some people because some people like the red velvet cakes to look just like this like if you would have used beets but if you're going to use beet use beet if you're going to use full coloring use full coloring so you can have really red red velvet cake not like if you're going to use beets that's understandable if you're going to be you know using red full coloring then use a good one yeah anyway so this is where my findings and i hope you guys enjoy this video i wish i made a lot more clips but like i kind of work during the day and sometimes i do this just during the weekend so it's a little bit more work for me than normally in my regular videos i make a clip of every single thing but it's not been so easy anyway so the point of this video is i didn't like any liquid food coloring but let me tell you the ones i like i like the powdered ones i like the one from color bomb and i also like the one from asian store i just bought this random one from an asian store like close to me like i don't even know if i can tag who makes it or where they make it i don't know where you can buy that but and then i love the sugar flare this one's a gel for colorings and the one from color bomb as well from um Oh, yeah color bomb as well i really love them they were really pigmented so this was the last one i made this is from color bomb and the other one was tesco and see how they looked yeah anyways that's all for this video and i hope it made sense to you guys and you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for always watching my videos and i will see you in my future tutorials i love you guys bye